This is a COVID-19 announcement. At 11.59 tonight, Auckland is entering Alert Level 4 lockdown again. Gyms, malls, schools and non-essential services will shut. Travel out of Auckland is restricted. You have five hours before lockdown begins. So how do you react? Where do you go? According to media reports, many of you and your phones will rush to the supermarkets, <laughs> panic buying toilet paper, while others will self-evacuate to batches across the borders. But were these reports actually true? Where were we moving during lockdowns? And did Aucklanders adhere to health advice to remain in our local neighbourhoods? Normally, mobility is predictable, with routines in the places we visit, the people we interact with and the ways we commute. But COVID changed this. Historically, researchers used time-consuming travel surveys and interviews with small sample sizes. But there's now an abundance of data available from your mobile phone locations. <laughs> Every day, advertisements within apps like Facebook, Uber, Tinder and Google Maps track your locations, selling GPS coordinates to researchers like me. <laughs> These apps running in the background provide a near continuous record of your personal movement. I'm using machine learning on millions of phone locations, finding trips to users' homes, workplaces and destinations like supermarkets. I'm testing the significance of changes to the distance, frequency and types of trips before and during lockdowns. And while I've only just started, my method is showing potential on test data. On the left is messy, raw data this square, the size of Albert Park, contains over 5,500 data points from more than 500 mobile phones. And on the right, after analysis, is a two hour long GPS track from one anonymous phone user who was walking between bars late at night. <laughs> so why does this matter? This sounds creepy. <laughs> I'm using privacy protecting methods to gain insights and visualize our movement through cities seeing if COVID magnified social inequalities between different neighbourhood and demographic groups. And thankfully, my lockdown scenario tonight is fake, but these data points and mobile phone locations are real. You could all be one of my data points. So thanks for participating in my research. <laughs>